I'm going to be teaching you on how to uh, permission the system, so how to assign level to uh, different users. Uh, so first, I'm going to go to systems, but before then, uh, we created a user in the personnel. Uh, I'm going to go to employee, so his name is John. So uh, for every user you create here, uh, with their email and phone numbers, uh, they are going to display in the in this uh in this field so on systems authentication user you are going to see the user you created in the employee so uh if you want to basically make one of the employees uh a a system user so and uh here's how to go about it so first i create a group i say uh technical so what assets do I want to give to these groups? So personnel, okay, I want the technical team to be able to uh, view the personnel, number of users. Okay, I can say I want them to view just the number of users in, I want them to be able to add, uh, view users in the department. Um, I want them to be able to view areas I don't want them to see the list of employees. I want them to be able to see everything that pertains to the device because they are the technical team. I don't want them to see the attendance and I want this group to be able to see the access. So I click on confirm. Now I've created my group. So I'm going to go to this user and click on John and I'm going to assign the technical group to john and also i'm going to enable john i'm not going to make him the super user because i just added him to a group so this enable function would uh give john the required permission so i'm going to click on confirm and now john is active so i'm going to go back I'm going to open another page here. So I'm going to open another sign in page. I want to sign in with John. So I'm going to input the email ID of John and the company name, which is our ZK Techo training. And I'm going to click on verify. Oops. John needs a password. So I'm going to click on forget password for John. So a mail is going to be sent to John. And I'm going to wait for uh, my never IOC's email. So it's going to be quite slow because I am using a temporary email. Oops, it's here. So I click on uh, the mail. I click on reset password and also my new password. So me, John, I'm going to put my new password because I'm John. I'm not John, but in this context, I'm John. So I'm going to put my password then click on continue see we've toots up the key training and password Yeah, now that I'm logging with John's account, so you can see that John only has personal device and access. So this is how to uh, do the provision uh, system permissioning, create a system permissioning rule uh, on Bell Time Africa.